was invited to go to the New Orleans missions in uh, Slidell, uh, New Orleans. And I was, had the opportunity to work in the kitchen and I was able to bring my smoker that I have and we were able to cook a lot on the smoker. And so it was great. A lot of people came around and uh, they really enjoyed the flavor of the meat. And that's how this all started. It's, uh, it's almost a, mir a miracle every day that they get all these guys fed. We were talking on the way back and I had mentioned that I was going to be able to get a hold of a big box that we could do some smoking in. And then it was mentioned that the church was going to be able to fund all the materials that I was going to need. I am not a grill builder, but I have been smoking long enough to where I kind of thought that I could, you know, assemble one that I would like and um, it seems to be working pretty good. This is the way it's, wow. it should look. Oh. Let's take that smell. Oh, I had to break it in. Oh. I only cooked on it twice. So, you know, every grill you have to make sure that the heat is right and that the airflow is correct. And it's got charcoal that sits on top of a gas burner. So you get the heat from the gas and you get the heat and smell from the charcoal and the, and the uh, burning wood that's in there. Um, you have enough, the shelving is th at the right distance. So we had to test it a couple times and the meat turned out wonderful. I cooked some pork shoulder, I got some brisket on there. It's when you light up the grill, it's like people just come because it's just a wonderful experience. It smells good, you know what's coming off of it. It should be good and it was. A little running start here. You know, we just kind of grabbed a hold of it and all of a sudden uh, it was a little bit more stressful at that moment trying to get it down underneath to lower it down because it was too tall to get, actually get into the trailer. So that this is it's quite heavy. We're looking at probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 400 plus pounds. It was definitely a surprise how heavy it was. Like uh, that thing is a beast to say the least. And uh, we had to lower it down past the balance point to get into the trailer because the top is so low. I, I thought I was going to drop it at one point. Everything's working against you, gravity and the, and the ramp. Yeah, it was a little, little stress on this old guy. God showed up in so many ways and in so many different places. I was able to share what I was able to do through the church and, and how God had put upon me to build this. And, you know, it was an opportunity to show that, hey, and there's a place in uh, the New Orleans missions that they're doing great work. And so I'm, I'm hoping that this uh, grill will continue to, um, you know, serve the people there and uh, work for a very long time for them. The idea was to get everybody to get a little sample, so I've been warming some up in the microwave and uh, put it inside here and get a little sample for everyone to take here. So we're just gonna heat some up and uh, see if everybody likes it. But I've got some heated up right here for Doug. Mm. I'm definitely gonna need some to go, and I brought Tupperware. <laughs>